The current climate for newspapers in America is challenging. An environment in which circulation is down, advertising revenues are reduced, profits are off, and advertisers have more choices than ever before, including the disruptive technology of the Internet. For the first time in 20 years, a major study of these critical issues was commissioned by the newspaper industry through the NAA. The study, The Power to Grow Readership, was recently produced by the Media Management Center of Northwestern University, and its findings are in. The study reached eight major conclusions as to how newspapers can effectively grow readership and advertising revenue. And three of its most powerful conclusions were advertising drives overall newspaper readership, customers expect neat package delivery, and newspapers with constructive employee cultures have higher readership. A newspaper that proves these facts is the Houston Chronicle. The Chronicle has achieved remarkable success by recognizing that its packaging and mailroom center could be a business tool that helps drive revenue by increasing circulation and advertising growth. The only way to, to view your packaging operation is as a business tool. It has to first address the advertiser needs. It's got to be able to get a product out there, meet the mass delivery requirements, be able to deliver specifically where it has to, target when you need to, and do it every day on time. It's got to be a business tool for advertising. The Houston Chronicle accomplished these goals with the help of Internet's inserter and onserter control systems. The Chronicle is doing today what has never been achieved at any other newspaper, providing a full service for its advertisers, micro zoning for subscribers, and direct mail address and content specific for non-subscribers, all on the corporate enterprise network. Employing Internet's unique virtual connectivity, the Chronicle facilitates the full integration of their inserter and onserter lines into their corporate enterprise network, all under one roof and all under one management operation. It was important to us to have a system that, of control system that was evolutionary. Uh, interestingly enough, I don't think we'd had the system, I may not have exact numbers, but I don't think we'd had the system in more than about six months and we exceeded the number of uh, different package combinations that we could have. And within a week or two, Internet had fixed the problem, doubled or tripled the number, and we were right there happy as a clam. And that's the kind of service we want. Over the five years, we're now at the point where we are selling address specific. We do blocks at a time. We do multiple blocks. We do the equivalent of carrier routes. We can slice it, dice it any way you want to inside a zip code mile around your store, two miles around your store, three blocks from your house, whatever you need done. And we do it better than the direct mailers, ADVO and the rest of them, the national direct mailers. We do it more efficiently. Post office loves us and it's been successful. The interesting thing is that once we figured out how to do it for the direct mail product, that forced a number of issues in terms of what we did with our subscribers. So while well, we do about a million two mail pieces a week, we've got 400,000 plus, 430,000 plus home delivered customers that we've got to put a package together for, in addition to single copy, which is on top of that. And uh, we had to come up with ways to address the advertising issues there with a completely different delivery force. Obviously, address specific is a little ahead of its time for the, a carrier out there at four o'clock in the morning on, the, on a pickup truck but we had to come up with ways to get down to the carrier route, 150 to 300 households, be able to do pretty much what we could do in the mail package, not quite as fine, but pretty close. That combination for the advertiser is very, very powerful. It's, a, uh, it's something that very few people in the country can do. It's where the future's gonna be. For us, it's very commonplace and it's a starting point. I figure by 2005 we'll be doing address specific for virtually all mail and block specific for all home delivery. Currently we have a few advertisers who use our address specific capabilities to um, target their database uh, customers. It allows them to customize messages based on household and that's exactly what the market has been asking for based on their mailing cost. I mean, their mailing cost have gone significantly down because you're using the Houston Chronicle address specific where you're dealing with an insert rate versus a solo mail rate. So the results have been phenomenal. We went in about two and a half years from 400,000 households to 
of about a million three. We've captured the mail market in Houston. Outside of some first class mailers in Houston, the, the power company and a couple others, we're the largest uh, postal account in, in Houston, Texas now against ADBO and numerous other mail houses. Program works, we're expanding it, we're getting better with it, uh, we're becoming more accustomed to it, and our advertisers trust it. And we consider it an outrageous success. I suspect that most of our national mailer colleagues consider this an outrageous disaster. Advertising drives readership. If you get the right ads, people will buy your newspaper. It's time to get the advertisers you want. It's time to give the advertisers what they want. Technology now enables your packaging and mailroom center to be a profitable business tool, a competitive arm of your newspaper. In order to do so, there are a few tools you need to have. The ability to maximize selectivity by microzoning down to a zone of individual households. Address specific onserting and microzoning inserting. And use of multiple images and messages to enhance subscriber and non-subscriber mailings. An Internet control system is a fully networked NT system which can increase productivity in your packaging and mailroom center by improving production management control. It enables you to achieve full production flexibility to move operational jobs across the network from line to line or plant to plant depending on current distribution requirements. In addition to improving production management control, an Internet control system provides complete, accurate production performance data collection and job verification, as well as report generation for all levels of management personnel. When we started using the CSN system, our code changes time-wise went from four or five minutes on our Wednesday advance on the 6.30s to about two and a half minutes of code change. The machine changed over without shutting down. Also, it gets our bundle counts where we haven't had any complaints since then because of the way it counts. We don't have to worry about a laser count or mechanical count or nothing else. It's counted when it drops from the gripper and our counts have been excellent. And it has improved our, I would say, a good 40%. It's improved our performance. Performance and through the seamless interlinking of both your subscriber and non-subscriber databases with your corporate network, substantial cost savings. Allowed us to connect both systems up to our network so we could immediately download data or download it as we needed to, get information back, truly control the machines, and the nice thing, the most important thing from my point of view, is I basically cut a shift of processing off on each type of machine. So better control systems allowed us to do more of what we needed to do to meet our advertising needs, meet our circulation schedules, and save me a shift of people, which is worth real money. Our operators have welcomed the system. They've uh, become very accustomed to operating the, the system. It's made their life much easier. Uh, we've done as many as 1,600 different uh, product codes and it's eliminated a lot of the data input that we were uh, doing. The efficiencies there are tremendous. Uh, you're not relying on an individual inputting that data. The new system has uh, the capabilities of loading our files in, in, uh, by code and, and product by zip, and it's made our efficiencies. Uh, we don't have to worry about operator mistakes and stuff. It's, it's really been a, a big asset to our operation. Our production levels have picked up dramatically since we've gone to this system. What the as the Houston Chronicle has proven, one of the most significant things a newspaper can do is to turn their packaging and mailroom center into a competitive advantage. By recognizing that the packaging center can be a business tool that helps increase circulation and advertising growth, you can turn your packaging center from merely a back-end factory into a productive and profitable arm of your newspaper.